Hi, my name is Liz and today I'm here to tell you about three things you need to know about prolotherapy. If you're considering prolotherapy but don't really know what it is, this is the perfect spot to find out more. Prolotherapy stands for proliferative therapy, the idea that these injections stimulate cells to proliferate or grow to promote healing. How does it work? Prolotherapy injections are often a combination of dextrose or sugar, lidocaine, a numbing agent, and saline. Dextrose is naturally found in the body. When you inject a high concentration of dextrose, it acts as an irritant causing inflammation in the immediate area. Inflammation is the first stage of tissue healing. Once inflammation settles, new cells grow in place and the tissue is remodeled to be stronger. During this last phase, appropriate exercises are vital in creating stronger tissue. In some instances, the injection can consist of cellular solutions such as platelet-rich plasma or PRP, bone marrow or fat tissue. These substances are removed from your own body, stem cells isolated, then re-injected into the injured area. This protocol accelerates cell reproduction by directly injecting stem cells to the injured area for the reproduction of new tissue. There is a growing body of scientific evidence in support of the effectiveness of prolotherapy. Multiple systematic reviews have been published in support of using prolotherapy for different conditions. A recent systematic review done by Bay et al. found that dextrose prolotherapy has a positive effect on pain in chronic musculoskeletal conditions ranging from six months to one year. This included conditions such as plantar fasciitis, rotator cuff tendinopathy, and arthritis. When compared to just saline injections or exercise, dextrose polotherapy had better outcomes after one month. Another systematic review done by Rotomi et al. in 2020 looked at multiple overuse injuries or repetitive stress injuries such as Achilles tendinopathy, plantar fasciitis, and patellar tendinopathy. It also concluded that pro prolotherapy is effective in decreasing pain and increasing range and function. Another systematic review by Sit et al. in 2016 compared dextrose prolotherapy injections with exercise or saline injections for those with knee osteoarthritis. This review also found improved pain and function after prolotherapy compared to just exercise or saline injections. Prolotherapy has been used for low back conditions and a review done by Giordano et al. published in 2021 also shows that there are positive benefits of prolotherapy for back pain and function. Even though evidence has been growing for this therapy, more high quality studies are needed and more studies need to be conducted to determine the most effective concentration and the most effective dosage. For now, it is known that a dextrose concentration of 10% or higher is required to produce an inflammatory response at the injection site. Prolotherapy is generally safe, but as with any treatment, there are always potential side effects. Side effects of prolotherapy are minor such as pain, bruising and discomfort at the injection site, risk of infection, occasional numbness and feeling of fullness at the joint. If you're waffling between a steroid injection or a prolotherapy injection, yeah. I personally yeah. think that prolotherapy can be worth a shot before going to the corticosteroid route simply because the side effects are small and this is considered to be a regenerative therapy which will help strengthen the tissues. A steroid injection can help with pain relief but it can weaken tendons and ligaments in the long run and it comes with more possible side effects when compared to prolotherapy. Now that you know that prolotherapy can help, who can actually administer it? This depends on where you're living but here in Canada, doctors, specialists and naturopaths who are trained in this can administer the injection. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.